Lance 13 here, and I am here with Mr. Lioness. He is my Atticus sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles, and he was reborn by Myra's Little Bugs. And what he and I are doing today are two things. One, we're going to do an outfit change. He's actually going to be going into this adorable Babadoo outfit. It's a up to one month size. Light blue, baby blue and white stripes. Cute little collar. Snaps in the back. And actually, I kind of started doing this right before. Um, his mohair, he was reborn a few years back. And I noticed it might just be the style of the mohair, but it does get just a little bit dry. Um... So what I've been doing since since I've adopted him is just every couple of weeks or so, I do use um, my mohair conditioner I have, and I just spritz a little bit. And then I use this brush to get into the spots just to kind of clean it up. And I actually had a little piece of hair there. So that's why I don't do it very, very often, because obviously hair can come out and reborn hair obviously will not grow back um, and this is actually something that would be good to do in general sometimes mohair um, at least I've talked to a friend of mine about it and I, I do think it, it can um, dry up you know after a long period of time of not doing a little bit of that so with him because his he was kind of really really dry um, when um, compared to my other dolls and it's a little different mohair I've been doing this and it's been working really really well um, so I'm gonna do that at the end just a little bit I've already done a little bit of it but I thought I would just kind of do a little more so people who are if they're brand new watching they could see what that is so and the main purpose of this video is I am bouncing off a topic that Lynn from Littlefoot Nurseries just posted tonight um, for those who are brand new to all this in our reborn world um, Lynn's channel is awesome. I watched her from day one of me getting into the hobby. I have learned a lot from her. She's a very sweet person. Definitely go check out her channel. I'll put it in the description below. Um, so hi Lynn. Um, but she just did this video and I really wanted to kind of branch off it. And the topic was discussing feeling guilt within the hobby. Um, and she does talk about a couple of points um, and a, a specific story that has happened too. Um, so what I'm going to focus on though is just the the main part of her video, um, which was um, feeling guilt. His hair gets so funny in the back. Feeling guilt about um, buying the reborns or buying you know anything that goes with the reborn hobby. Feeling guilt about spending the money. So obviously it goes without saying, and many have said this in their videos, very, very big YouTube channels where I'm just this little rinky dink brand new channel, but um, it goes without saying that this hobby is a definitely a luxury kind of thing. Um, you know, you can, anyone can get a reborn depending on your price point. There's always something. Um, but you know, it's, it's not like we need dolls, right? Like we need water, we need food, we don't need dolls. So it's kind of a luxury item basically. Um, so, and before I continue, look at his little outfit. I just love this guy. He looks so angry and then he's just in this like adorable little thing. <laughs> so cute. Okay. I'm going to put him back down. Um, and so, okay. So what was I saying? Oh yeah. Okay. So the luxury piece item. So my, it's, it's not unusual to think that, you know, we would feel guilt if we have a lot of in our collection, maybe just the amount we've spent on the collection and the, you know, the, whatever feels like too much or too high depends on the individual, right? The amount of spending, you know, somebody else might feel one doll is low price while the other person feels the same doll is expensive. So just depends on your own situation. Um, but I think in general, it's, probably a safe bet to say that everyone could experience some kind of guilt not even just in the doll hobby but in anything where if you've spent a lot on something um you might feel just a little bit of guilt and my feeling on that is because I think I I know for me personally but um I genuinely want to make sure everybody's happy that's in my life and everyone has what they need and they're taken care of for so I I occasionally will tend to put myself second on that priority list, um, which I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. 
But so when I got into the hobby and now I'm getting things for myself, you know, versus somebody else. And, and, you know, that, that was new. That was kind of a new experience for me. Um, even now, like I still have that where if I get a new doll and, and disclaimer, none of my, my kids or my family are without, they are definitely taken care of. My kids are taken care of. Everybody gets what they need, even what they want sometimes, you know, when kids want toys and stuff. Not that I do it every day, but you know, um, they're, they're not without. So just disclaimer on that part. But even then I still tend to feel like sometimes I'll catch myself thinking, oh, I could have gotten my kiddos this, or I could have gotten my husband that, or my mom this, or whatever. So, you know, that, that kind of guilt of wanting to give to others instead, like in your life, where, oh, somebody else could have, you know, I could have gotten, gotten them, I could have taken everybody out for dinner and the whole entire family versus getting a doll. I don't know, I'm just kind of making things up. But I, I'm trying to like, I'm going like all weird with this. Um, so I feel like that's one way you could feel guilty, is genuinely wanting to see other people happy and be able to give people things and, and take care of people and, but yet you're taking care of yourself. So I think that's one way that that could happen. Um, another way that uh, Lynn points out in her video, and this was a, a certain situation she dealt with recently, um, you know, other outside factors. So it could be, um, comments that you're hearing from people, whether they're perfectly good strangers or, best friends of yours or you know everyone like I said before everybody has we all know everyone has different viewpoints like how somebody sees one doll's expensive and the other person doesn't see that doll's expensive so people in our lives have different viewpoints people that are not in our lives but are around us in the community have their own perspectives so if they you know if you get a comment that let's say it's oh really you just bought yourself a pair of I, I don't even know. I'm trying to think of what I was going to say shoes. I don't tend to like run out and buy high shoes. But okay, you, you bought yourself this, oh, the latest and greatest Apple iPhone and um, you got that and you know, that's such a waste of money. Why would you do that? You could have done this instead. And then all of a sudden that thought is in your head like, oh gee, yeah, did I really need to buy the new Apple iPhone? And now you feel guilty because that thought was put in your head. So I think there's there's a lot of different ways people feel guilty. I think it's, you know, based on everyone's going to be different about this depending on what things make you feel guilty and how your personality is. But I know for me, when I tend to feel guilty in the hobby, mine stems to the um, feeling like I could give something to anybody else versus me. Um, so that's just kind of my own little quirky thing. But... I am learning that, you know what, it is okay to enjoy things I like. It is okay to have these dolls. It is okay to be happy I have these dolls. And it is okay that I got them. <laughs> so, and it's, I don't think any factors, whether they're internal, you know, external factors or whatever, should ever make a person feel guilty for doing something for themselves that make them happy because you have to take care of yourself first and that's something I struggle with on a daily basis I'm always you know put everybody else first but and I think that's parents in general too or just people who have family in their life which is everybody you always you know it's probably not uncommon to for people to want to put somebody else first right because we care and we love people um but it is okay to have something for yourself so I am working on not feeling guilty about what I spend now. Let's say though, and this has happened to me, let's say you do feel guilty of what you've spent and you've thought about the whole, it's okay that I have the doll. I know I can do it. I know it was fine. I know it didn't financially hurt me or my family. I know it didn't hurt anybody else. I know it was a very innocent buying a doll experience. <laughs> Let's say you go through all that, but you still feel kind of guilty because maybe something's coming up or oh, I really didn't need another doll. That's where you make the tweaks and adjustments. So when that happens, it's just like with anything in life, make some tweaks, make some adjustments, maybe sell a doll, maybe don't buy it just yet. Maybe put a down payment and pay it off or a payment plan instead of doing it all one shot. Whatever the adjustment needs to be, only you know that. 
So as long as you keep yourself in check, and I do this all the time, I keep myself in check, I see where my guilt's feeling, I see whatever, I see what my pocket's doing, my finances are doing, whatever. As long as I'm keeping myself in check, then it's okay. If I'm not, then I got the tweaking adjustments, right? So anyway, that's kind of where I felt like, you know, feeling guilt in the hobby. I think it is, it is something where if anything in life, if you feel guilty, examine what the reason is. Is it external factors? Is it internal? Do you need to make adjustments? Do you need to tweak things? There you go. And then enjoy it. So that's all. I just wanted to kind of, kind of branch off that. And that wasn't entirely like Lynn's whole video, but it, it was kind of thoughts I had as I was watching her video and hearing her topic, kind of just to branch, maybe for me, but I kind of went into a different direction, I guess. Um, but just kind of things that popped in my head as to how and why does the guilt happen, I guess is more what my video was branching off to hers is like, why do we feel guilty? And what do you do? So there you go. So anyway, guys, that's about it. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful day, night, wherever you're living. Um, Mr. Lioness, his hair is feeling so soft. And he's looking so cute. Um, hope everybody's having a great night. And I got some big things coming. Some exciting news, which I'll share later on. But otherwise, guys, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon.